Good morning. This is your boy DJ Tan with an early morning Tan to Twos. Hashtag Tan to Twos. You know, saying it is one thing and knowing it with your heart is another. So, when someone says you have to love yourself, well, yeah, of course you do. We all know that. But it It's also something very hard to do. It's hard to live by what we all preach. To love yourself. So instead of saying this, I'd rather say to try to love yourself. To try to take yourself and your feelings under consideration when you're presented with something hard to do and to try. But not just for me or yourself or for your loved ones, but for everyone around you as well. So to try to be a better person, to try to be more open as as you can to yourself, to try to be a better person, to try to be more open minded and understanding, to, 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 to try to love others, to try to work on yourself. You know, that is all it really is to try to better yourself as time goes on, to try to do something about all this pain and suffering and anger and and frustration and pity that some of us feel on and off. You may not feel that way every single day, but you feel that way. So to try to remind yourself that you are capable and deserving of so much more, that alone, that alone is enough to make a difference and enough to save everything you love, including yourself. So today, just for today, I want you guys to try to make a difference in your own world, in your own life today stop worrying about if I coulda, woulda, shoulda because the past is the past there is absolutely nothing you can do about it you know we tend to as humans, we tend to live in the past I wish I did this if I was, I wish I did that You know, if I didn't have all these kids, if I didn't, if I didn't, I should have finished college. I should have got my degree. I should have got my master's. I should have took that job on Wall Street. I should have did this. I should have did that. And while you're wasting every precious moment wondering what you should have done or if things would have been different if you had done this, it's better to live in the now because the past is the past and you can't step backwards. There is no time machine. There is no click your heels and you're going to get back to where you were. It's not going to happen, so you might as well stop worrying about it. Stop tripping about it. Stop thinking about it. Live in the now. Because you can change things now. Right now. You can change the way you think. You can change the way you act. You can change your little funky stank attitude. You can change the way people... You can't change people, but you can change the way you feel about people. You don't even have to be in the company of people that you don't want to be bothered with. So you need to start thinking about what you can do for yourself today. And stop worrying about what you didn't do yesterday. Because guess what, buddy? Yesterday is gone and you can't get it back. So whatever mistakes or discouragements or anger or pity or or loss that you had yesterday is not going to come back today. So as long as you keep living in that same situation, you're giving yourself that dark feeling of pain and resentment and hurt and in order to step out of that you have to you must start living for today and just take a moment to think about this 
click this like share tell somebody about it somebody needs to hear it because in the reality we are all in one way or another suffering or dealing with something and when i say suffering i'm not talking about oh i'm broke i'm just you know i'm about to die tomorrow it don't have to be that extreme you could have something on your mind that's been that's been nagging at you forever and all i'm simply telling you is to just let go let go because it's not going to change anything and i think we as people once we figure that part of our lives out i think that we will live a much better life you know i sit and i look at some of these posts on instagram and some of these posts on facebook and everything and it's so pitiful you know i mean i understand everybody needs prayer and i understand that people are suffering but sometimes the reason see the reason i don't i don't frequent facebook at all is because i got tired of seeing the woe is me post as if nobody in the entire world has anything good happening and it's and it's draining to continue to watch the same things over and over again pray for me because my toe hurt pray for me because my sister's dog died pray for me because when i woke up this morning my eye was itching pray for me because my, my head was hurting this morning pray for me because when i stood up this morning i felt the crack in my knee pray for me because i got arthritis pray for me because i dropped i dropped the plate and all, all the food gone and now i gotta eat cereal <laughs> And I'm using these just to say, you know, some of the things that I see are just the dumbest, absolute, most ridiculous things that I have ever seen in my life. And I just shake my head. And that's why I, I, just, I just, sometimes you got to let go of that. And as long as you keep harboring that in your mind, as long as you're following people that all that always have a problem, I'm talking about. I'm not talking about once in a while, and I'm not talking about the people who's lost lost a loved one and jumped on Facebook and said, "Oh, y'all pray for me. My my my, my dog died or whatever." I'm the, I'm talking about the constant, absolute constant people who constantly have a problem, as if every day you don't have anything good those are the people i'm talking about that need to just step away and find you and find your happiness that's what i'm talking about find your happiness find that happy place you know i knew somebody once that i don't even fool with anymore but this person always was begging for something begging for money begging for this big i can't pay my rent i can't pay my this oh my god we're gonna be put out tomorrow well, you're obviously, you're not doing too bad because you're paying that internet bill. Man, let me go. It's time for me to go because I'm getting started. I love y'all. I'll see y'all later. Bye.